Well, hello there, my magnificent manifestors. It's me, Lynn Switzer, your law of attraction fairy godmother. I am going to be leading you on this journey today so that you can harness your amazing superpower of visualization. So let's dive right in. What exactly is creative visualization? Well, when we look at the technical definition for creative visualization, we find that it is a rather specific definition. You see, when you look up creative visualization, you find that it is the creative process of purposefully generating visual mental imagery with eyes open or closed, simulating or recreating visual perception. This is done in order to maintain, inspect, and transform those mental images, consequently modifying their associated emotions or feelings with intent to experience a subsequent beneficial psychological, physiological, or social effect such as the expediting of healing wounds to the body, minimizing a physical pain, alleviating psychological pain, and yes, that does include anxiety, sadness, frustration, and low mood. It helps you to improve your self-esteem and self-confidence. And it enhances the capacity for success or to cope when interacting with others. You see, the brain is capable of creating other types of mental imagery as well, not just visual images. What it can do is it can simulate or recreate perceptual experience across all those sensory modalities. Guys, this includes the auditory imagery of sounds, the gustatory imagery of tastes, the olfactory imagery of smells, motor imagery of movements, and hepatic imagery of touch. Now, the hepatic imagery of touch, guys, this incorporates texture, temperature, and pressure. So your creative visualization incorporates all of this in a non-real environment. Notwithstanding the ability to generate images across sensory modalities, the term creative visualization literally signifies the process by which a person generates and processes visual mental imagery specifically. Okay? Now, Creative visualization is closely related in principle and, in, and practice, actually, and is often considered as one part of a technique called guided imagery. Now, guided imagery is where a trained practitioner, such as myself or a teacher, helps the participant or patient, however you want to look at it, to evoke and generate mental images that stimulate or recreate the sensory perception of sights, sounds, tastes, smells, movements, and touch, okay? As well as imaginative or mental content that the participating subject experiences as defined conventional sensual sensory categories. Now, with this in mind, visual and auditory mental images are reported as being the most frequently experienced by people ordinarily in controlled experiments. And when participating in guided imagery with visual images remaining the most extensively researched and documented in scientific literature. Remember, guys, I'm the science geek here. I'm the one that's already done all of this research for you. Okay. 
all mental imagery, including the visual images generated through creative visualization, can recipiate or be associated with strong emotions or feelings and encoded deep within the mind as memories and subconscious programming. Now, guys, that is a huge, huge scientific way of going. It is simply the use of our imagination through pictures and feelings, simply mental imagery, to create visions of what we want in our lives and how to make it happen. When you add focus and emotion, it becomes a super powerful creative tool that helps us achieve what we want in life. Used correctly, it can bring about self-improvement, maintain good health, help you perform in sports, help you get that promotion at work, and basically accomplish any of your goals in life. Now, using this as a technique in your daily life invariably results in a much better performance and outcome, no matter how it's used, okay? This works in business, in life, if you have to give a speech or if you're asking for a raise or any other situation that requires preparedness and forethought. All right, so now that we've pretty much defined creative visualization, let's talk about how does visualization actually work, okay? Visualization or mental imagery works because when you imagine yourself performing perfectly and doing exactly what it is that you want, you psychologically create neural patterns in your brain, just as if you had physically performed the action. The thought can simulate the nervous system in such a way that it actually replicates the same patterns in your cells that the actual event does. So performing or rehearsing an event in the mind trains it and creates the neural patterns to teach our muscles to do exactly what we want them to do. That is why visualization is super, super important. Okay? Now, what this means is that creative visualization is a mental technique that uses the superpower of imagination, which you were born with, to create success and make dreams and goals come true in ways that the subconscious and the unconscious mind understands. Now, I want you to make sure you watch the next section in this guided creative. Let me try that again. Okay, this in section one. What I want you to do is I want you to tune into section two. Because we're going to talk about more on your amazing power of visualization.